Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they just got to sell it, so yeah, it's got to be like believable. But yeah, it's interesting you say that because I have um, sort of watched a few movies when I've been feeling a bit bleak about everything that are just like happy, like Disney movies to just cheer up the mood. And it's funny how that can sort of have an effect on your mood and make you feel better. And... Yeah, and I I'm glad that I know a lot of people in the Hollywood industry now, like. I'm getting in touch with so many great people. I've interviewed the producer of Prince of Egypt, the composer of Joseph King of Dreams, and a lot of other- I love Prince of Egypt. That's one of my favorite movies growing up. (laughs) Yeah, and can you believe, I should probably be honest with you, what sparked me to pursue an interview with the producer of Prince of Egypt was seeing a tweet from an old classmate of mine. I'm not gonna mention his name, but he said something bad about the Prince of Egypt saying it sucked. And I responded to it and was like, the Prince of Egypt, that's a great movie. You know, I think it's epic. I absolutely adored that movie growing up. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I'm only sorry that I didn't think of it first. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's so clever. It's so clever. Yeah. 